In this video, we're going to go through the fabrication and assembly of the tailstock. We'll start with a piece of six by quarter inch cold rolled steel cut to nine inches long. I'm going to be using layout fluid for this, um, but it's not entirely necessary. Doing it this way allows you to be very precise, and this is what I do when I'm making parts for other people. I already know the general area of my marks, and so I just kind of paint this stuff on here. Um, you may need to slap a tape on there to get rough measurements uh, before you do this. Um, so just paint it on, and let it dry. I go over how to use layout fluid with a dial caliper and a scribe in the fire carriage video. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through this uh, if you need more instruction on that, uh, I recommend you check out the fire carriage video. A link to the layout and the dimensions will be available in the description. Just like the fire carriage, you'll need to center punch all of your marks. Drill out all the holes in the carriage plate with an eighth inch pilot bit. Using a 7 16 inch drill bit, drill out the holes along the edge of the plate. Next you'll drill out the center holes with a 3 8 inch drill bit. After you're done drilling your plate, countersink all the holes. Use some acetone and a paper towel to remove the layout fluid. Now it's time to mount the tailstock to the carriage plate. Insert four T-nuts into the extrusion. Using a screwdriver or other small implement, line up the T-nuts with the holes in the carriage plate. Using your hex wrench, tighten all the screws down till they're finger tight. Flip the assembly on its side. We're going to use the dial caliper to line things up. The extrusion should be 1.5 inches from the edge of the carriage plate. The extrusion or the carriage plate might be off by a few thousandths of an inch. Just split the difference between the two sides. Once you're satisfied with the position, tighten one of the screws down with your hex wrench. Flip the piece over and repeat on the other side. When you're happy, tighten down all your screws and check your measurements again.